So this of course is the D Angelico XL59. I will mostly talk about my opinions and uh, what you can use this guitar for in this video. I will not talk too much about uh, any specs. So if you want to see that, there will be some links down below. It's better to look at those when it comes to the specs. And you might wonder why am I reviewing a sort of a jazz guitar on this channel? I'm not very known. <laughs> For playing jazz. I know like three jazz chords. But I have some thoughts on why it works for other things as well and I've been interested in both hollow body guitars and semi hollow body guitars for different kind of genres so I will talk a bit about that as well. So as you probably heard in the intro track you can definitely use this guitar for rock stuff if you want to do that. I would say that the sound is a bit more round uh, than uh, if you have a solid body guitar. Uh, with some uh, arch tops and hollow body guitars I find them to be a bit too round. I don't think it's the case with this one and I believe that is because of the P90 pickups. So your sound is still crisp in addition to the more like full body sound that you get with a hollow body. There is definitely a limit to how hard you can push a hollow body guitar without getting feedback. You know with the intro track I really didn't have any issues and that was a lot of gain but when you are moving into like high gain territory and thus you might have some issues with feedback. <laughs> don't have a really good noise gate or if you start to like fill up the whole <laughs> uh, guitar with uh, something which I believe is sort of counterintuitive if you want the sound of a hollow body guitar. But saying that I actually think the reason to why we see some big guitar players using semi hollow body guitars and hollow body guitars is because of the looks. It sort of takes the viewer a bit by surprise. You have this old looking guitar, it's big and chunky, and then he or she is just playing music that is not something that you would expect coming from such a guitar. And I remember when I got really into hollow body guitars, probably 10, 15 years ago, that was like a big part of it. Seeing even metal bands playing 
with Gretsch's and Gibson's. It was sort of just giving the finger to that community where you need to have pointy guitars and then you have like an old Gretsch and you're playing metal with it. And I found that really cool. So that's something that I think is important still today just the visual factor of it. And even though this is not a scientific test or anything like that, I did compare this guitar with playing the same riff, uh, with the same sound from the amp, with my Maybach SG, which also has P90s. Of course, they are not the same P90, I believe, uh, but yeah, you can hear the difference and see if you can tell like a big noticeable difference between the hollow body and the solid body. Uh, clean stuff sounds really good with this guitar, so like any indie band uh, where you are playing clean or even with some overdrive. Uh, looks cool and it sounds amazing as well. You can use it for some rock stuff, as I said, uh, if you push it too hard, you will have some problems with uh, feedback. So when I first got this guitar, I was blown away when I took it out of uh, the case. Uh, I felt that this is definitely a luxury instrument. The details on it, and most importantly, when I played it, I could tell that this is a really good guitar. The intonation was top-notch, that's not always the case when you get a brand new guitar. The only thing that I could notice that I need to fix is a slight buzz on the D string. I haven't been able to fix that yet myself, but I guess it's not a big thing. Probably something that someone more skilled than me can fix easily. And at first I was uh, sort of thinking P90s, mm, is that right? As you maybe know, I'm not a huge fan of P90s. They can be really good for some guitars and some stuff. When I tried it, when I plugged the guitar in, I thought, okay, P90s are definitely right in this guitar. Because as I said, you have the roundness and the resonance of a hollow body guitar. And sometimes you can lose that spark when you have uh, humbuckers because they are also a bit like muddy and almost too rounded sometimes, so I definitely think that the P90s are a good thing on this guitar. It is made in Korea and the current price is right here. I think it's a great guitar, I love how it looks, I think it sounds amazing. I need to get that D string fixed or that bus, but other than that, yeah, I think it's a great addition to the Angelicals lineup. Go check one out if you have the chance. Thank you for watching and goodbye.